Hello, we're going to start using Excel to work with numbers. And I think the best way to start is simply by an example. Suppose for a moment you wanted to make a list of how much you spent on lunch each day of the week last week that you went to work. You went to work five days, bought lunch for five days, and you wanted to make a list of how much you spent. So what we're going to do is create a column of numbers and to do that, we're going to start off by choosing any cell. It doesn't matter. Let's say we're going to start with cell number C3. We're going to click that cell. And let's say we want to enter the amount of money that we spent on lunch from Monday in that cell. And let's say we spent $3. So let's enter $3. On Tuesday, we're going to have spent $4.25. So on the cell below that, it's a column of numbers. We're going to enter $4.25. On Wednesday, we spent $5. On Thursday, we spent $2.75. And finally, on the last day of the week, Friday, we spent uh, $3.87. So what we've done is create a column of numbers and let's take a look at the format of them for a moment. You'll notice that in some cases Excel has dropped off some of the digits. And if you remember back in mathematics, if a digit is not significant, Excel is going to drop it. So even though we entered 3.00, Excel shortened that to just 3. And when we entered $4.25, it kept that because all those digits were significant. So Excel will format your digits down to the least significant number of digits that are necessary to retain the characteristic of that number. So what we have now is a column of numbers representing how much we spend for lunch on each day of the week. Suppose for a moment now you wanted to find out how much you spent for the entire week on lunch. So we would need to add up this column. Now we could perhaps calculate that in our head, but let's let the spreadsheet do the work for us. So to do that, what you could do is, is you could highlight that row of columns. In other words, you click on the first cell, and while holding down your mouse, drag it down. And let's go a little bit below that so we have a place to put the answer. And then we release the mouse, and now go up to this tab over here. This is known as the Auto Sum tab. If we click it, it will calculate the total for the column. So let's do that. We'll click on it now. And appearing at the bottom of our column is $18.87. And that represents the sum of the column. In other words, how much we spent for lunch for the entire week. You'll also notice that if there's a little arrow next to that icon, and if we click down on it, you can see that it'll allow us also to do other functions. So what well, we have, although already calculated the sum, suppose we wanted to find out how much we spent on average each day for lunch. So what we do is the same thing. And let's start off by erasing the sum. We highlight that column of numbers, click on the first cell, drag the mouse down, go a little bit below it, release the mouse, go over to there, click on that, and now click on average. And we find that on average, we spent $3.774 each day on lunch. And you could also see that if we wanted to identify the maximum amount that we spent, I could click on that, and below that appears the number 5, which represents the most that I spent on any one given day, which was Wednesday, $5. And similarly, we can click on the minimum, and below that, it's identified the minimum value, the $2.75 that I spent on Thursday. Now, this icon works well on a row of numbers as well. So let's delete these, clean up our spreadsheet a little bit, and let's create 
instead of a column of numbers, let's create a row of numbers. So we're going to start with any one cell. Let's say we'll start with B14. We'll enter a number, 23. Let's add, let's put some complicated numbers, 1009, uh, 20, excuse me, 27,856, 4, and 763. So what we have now is a column of, excuse me, a row of numbers. And the icon here will do the exact same thing. Say we wanted to find out what the sum of that is. We could click on the first member of the row, drag across it, go a little beyond it so we have a place for the answer, and click on the sum thing. And uh, lo and behold, the sum of that is 29,655. And as before, if we wanted to find the average, we highlight that row of numbers and click on average. And we find that the average value for that row of numbers is $5,931. So Excel is very useful in that it actually works like a calculator for you, and it does arithmetic. And this icon up here allows us to be able to do some quick calculations relatively easily by just accessing the menu. And once again, this is known as the Auto Sum tab. And with that, it'll give us uh, the information that we need as to whether you want to do a sum, an average, maximum, minimum. And there are some more functions, but it gets a little bit more complicated and I don't think you need to have to worry about those, okay? So uh, thank you, and uh, see you in the next presentation.